Robert, you've been in so many big time fights and you have another one coming up with Bam Rodriguez and Jesse uh, Juan Francisco Estrada. How, how does this one uh, feel a little different in the in considering the high stakes matchup? Well, it's you know it's 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 a big fight. Uh, obviously, at yeah, the smaller weight classes with with, with somebody like Bam, you know, somebody that I brought in that I've known since he was a ten year old. It you know that that's that's a little extra for myself. You know, we you know we I've been in fights against Mayweather and Pacquiao. Uh, with Brandon, I did start him when when he, when he did his pro debut, but but I've known Bam since he was like ten, so it's a little bit different. Bam is more like like. Brandon was my little brother. Bam's like my son. You know what I mean? Uh, it's 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 special. It's special, especially with the talent that he has, with uh, the chances that he has of being able to dominate and maybe look at a bigger division and and, and move up in weight. All that is it makes him more exciting. Mm -hmm. With uh, with the fight, uh, he's heavily favored in this one. He's like a minus four hundred. 50 uh, favorite, uh, Estrada's like a plus 335 underdog. Do you feel that's an accurate assessment of... Honestly, I, I don't know who does that, but I wouldn't put it that. <laughs> I, think, I think it's a very close fight. Gallo has so much experience. gallo has been in there for so many years, you know. He, he'll be 34 by the time, of, I, I don't know if he's already 34, but he will be 34 by the time they fight. Uh, and it's gonna be, you know, his experience, against youth, I don't think, I think it's gonna be a very, very competitive fight. The 10 year difference, how does that factor in in a fight of this magnitude? Well, a lot of people might think Gallo at, at 34 is already looking towards the end of his career, but we just seen Tennis Crawford at 36, 37, and, 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 and having the best performance of his, of his lifetime. You know, I, I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't know, it just depends on, on which fighter it is. Gallo has had maybe a few more wars than, 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 than Crawford. He has had a lot more fights when it comes to, to uh, sparring sessions and everything than Bam. So it could be a big difference, but it could also be uh, one of those differences where it benefits the experienced fighter also. You know, Bam is, you know, is only just turned 24 a couple months ago uh, and, and, and hasn't been in there with somebody like Ayo. Wadras could be, probably be one of the most experienced fighters and he was able to dominate pretty good, but Gallo's a little bit, just a little bit above Wadras. So mm -hmm. I, I expect a really good fight. Uh, all, from everything we're hearing, sounds like there's some very good sparring happening last week with Chocolatito and, and Bam. Can you just describe what that was like? It was just one of those sparring sessions where you you don't even I don't I wasn't even I didn't even have to give out instructions. It was just one of those sparring sessions where both Bam and, and Chocolatito were were doing so good, where you're just enjoying. You know, I think Virgil. Rojo post something saying that's the, probably the best fight he's ever seen. Not because they went to war or they beat each other up. It was just so beautiful to see what what we were seeing between both of them. And and both competing at each other. Because Chocolatito wasn't there to just make Bam look good. And Bam wasn't going to let Chocolatito dominate. So it was very competitive. None of them went to a point where they were trying to hurt each other, but it was just uh, one of those prime, prime, prime sessions that you enjoyed, that any, everybody enjoyed. Bam, Bam said it was, it was on a level 10. Uh, with the thousands and thousands of sparring sessions you've seen, where would that rank amongst you your favorite? Uh, there's, there's one sparring session that, that I, that I it's actually in, in, in YouTube and it has a lot of views. Uh, one of, when I was training at Henis Mendes and, uh, and uh, Linares, in LA, that spar session was so beautiful also because of Argenis Mendes and Linares, both so talented that it was just so beautiful to see them spar. But when it comes to sparring sessions in my gym with Brandon Rios versus Maidana, that can't get any better. Or Benavides versus Kelly Pavlik. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. You know, I've seen some of the best, par best wars. Maidana, Brandon Rios, you know. Kelly Pavlik, uh, Benavides, great sparm. But when it comes to beautiful, talents, uh, talented sparm, sparm matches, Chocolatito and Bam, and uh, Argenis Mendes and Linares. So top 10, does it sound I would like? say top, top, 
top four, top uh -huh. four, five, yeah. Definitely. Oh, that's terrific. Um, with you, you mentioned Virgil. Obviously, he's he's been in training. Unfortunately, he won't be fighting Tim Zhu anymore. What's the latest you could uh, update you could well, from, offer? From what I understand, he's still fighting on that card. Uh, they've mentioned uh, a few names, but I, I, if I'm not mistaken, I think at least in my part, uh, I would I would rather lean towards the. There's, but I can't pronounce his name, but he's a WBC interim champion. Uh, uh, a Boachuk? Yes, there, there you go. That's that's his name. Uh, that would be my first choice because he holds an a, a interim title. Uh, Spence is fighting on, for Nora for the WBC title, so that puts the winner in position to maybe challenge the, the for the for the full uh, WBC belt. So, you know, it would be great. You know, it would be great if it, especially if it was Spence, that could, if, if he could beat uh, Mondora, Roger versus Spence and Dallas mm -hmm. would be huge. So, you know, I do see future future fights, uh, you know, that we could that we could make. So that's why that's that that probably be my best choice to fight. Um, Bochuk, is he the front runner for now? I'm not sure. I'm not uh -huh. sure because that's between obviously Golden Boy, right? Uh, Virgil's manager Rick Morrigan. Uh -huh. They're gonna make the decision, and uh, and 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 also, uh, you know, the, the promoters, who are, you know, right. the, the Saudis who are the ones putting up the fight. Mm -hmm. But you know, it's gonna be up to them. But that, that's my first choice. So uh, obviously he's keeping the date. Any update on when we could see Jose Ramirez back in the ring? You know what? Uh, I think I think Jose Ramirez. There's there's a possible date in August, but uh, as of right now, it's still undecided. If if that if 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 we decide to wait a little bit longer, it'll be in in October for sure. Let's talk about the fighter who does have a date, Raymond Muirtaya versus Tevin Farmer. A uh, great opportunity for him to fight against a former world title holder. Uh, how do you like that fight for him? No, I, I like the fight. You know, fighting a former champion, somebody with with experience, somebody that that's actually been there, done that. Uh, it's great for for Raymond. Uh, Raymond's ready. I, I think he's ready for a world title after this. Uh, I know Top Rank is just working on it. I know it's also not that easy because. Uh, you know, the Champions could also say who they want to fight, or maybe I don't want to fight this guy, maybe I can fight another one. Uh, but there is champions for top rank. You know, if Shakur stays with top rank, he's still a champion, and, and Raymond uh, should be ranked number one pretty soon after uh, after uh, Camarón Cepeda fights for the WBA title, which is his next fight. His number one position will probably be scratched up, and, and Raymond jumps to number one. There's also Lomachenko who also became champion, and 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 I'm pretty sure they also have. I think Top Rank has options on the guy that just beat uh, Navarrete. So there's three fights there for, for Raymond. I would love any of them, uh, but we have to go. You know, we still have to fight uh, uh, Farmer first. You know, Farmer's a you know Dan Farmer's an experienced fighter. You know, he's a slick southpaw. Uh, we also picked that southpaw because we know that if it's Shakur or if it's Loma. They're both Southpaw, so, you know, Top Rank had actually mentioned somebody else. Uh, they had mentioned, uh, and we were very close to finalizing the fight, uh, that Argentine and the Top Rank just signed. Uh, Lemos. Lemos. That was, that was the initial fight for, for Raymond, and we were already pretty much finalizing the, the details, obviously negotiating purse and all that, but then it was actually Brad Groom and, uh, and, mm -hmm. and Bruce Trumpler that told us, you know what, yeah, we're looking that our chances of fighting Shakur or maybe Loma are, are pretty pretty big. Why not fight a southpaw? And that's that's when they brought up uh, uh, Tim Farmer. Terrific opportunity uh, for him to fight a few, uh, two of the top pound for pound stars in the sport. Very curious, Robert. Canelo has fought. Usyk has fought. Pavol just fought again. Who do you consider the number one pound for pound fighter in the sport? And of course, Inoue just fought as well too. I think right now with, with his performance, the heavyweight division, you know, I, I think Usyk has to be number one. At least in my in my list, I think he's number one. I would I, I would still put Crawford at number two because his performance against Spence, you know, two pound for pound, number one and number two, you know, that was just you know a beautiful performance. I put him at number two and 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 and, and uh, Inoue at number three. The rest are so talented that it could be Loma, I still love Loma, it could be Tang, it could be Shakur, you know, that's just on who, depends on who you ask, you know what I mean? Bam's up there too, I think, I think if Bam beats Gallo, because I, I don't, you know, I, 
I think we're going to beat him. But you never know. If he beats in the guy, fashion in you a beat match, him. In a good, you know, beautiful performance, Ram should be up there. A, top st a, a stoppage yeah, win exactly. definitely could that, get that him up there. there. There's a lot of inactivity. Right. Some of these fighters exactly. just are, are not fighting as frequently. I'll leave you with last one. One fighter that we're not expecting to fight. He's, he seems he, he's going to get in the ring eventually, Mike Tyson. Just curious about what your thoughts are on that fight with Jake Paul and if that's really good for Mike, good for the sport in general. Well, if it's just uh, an, ex uh, an exhibition match, something where, where, where it's not a real fight, why not? You know, uh, you know people will pay. People, you know, Tyson is uh, the, the most popular fighter in the world. Jake Paul is so popular too. So if they do, do something like that, it's, it's like us knowing it's gonna be just an event, a show. We we do we buy pay per view uh, WWE. You know we do the uh, SummerSlam. We do the you know all those for our kids to enjoy barbecue. So I think that fight is probably something very similar to where people should know it's just a you know a show. I don't think it's a real fight. At, at close to 60, there's no way Mike could be performing the way he was when he was in his, in his prime. Uh, Mike. Mike's last few fights, and this is probably 10 plus years, when he he didn't have very good performances, he was he got beat by some guys that certainly, yeah. so, so 10 years later, it could be even worse if it was a real fight. Yeah. I, I think it's just an event, just a show, and uh, why not? If they're gonna make a lot of money, all power to them. Well, looking forward to seeing the real fight, June 29th. Bam Rodriguez, Juan Francisco Estrada, good luck to you guys throughout the rest of camp and into fight night. Appreciate it, thank you.